Hello everyone. Today we will introduce how to configure SWRing. There are also some notices and suggestions during configuration. Here we would like to use three switches as demo. First, use cable or fiber to collect the switches and load that don't loop until the ring redundancy practical takes effect. Then open through and data switch management software blue eyes and click the search button. There are three devices on list with default IP. 192.168.1.254. If we let modify IP, we can make it by blue eyes. Before modifying the IP, make sure that the PC has the same network segment with product. Now we start modifying IP. Choose product A and right click, then click IP address. We suggest modifying last segment of IP. So here we change them into 101, 102, 103. After the IP address was refreshed, we still choose product A when right click to select web setting. In the web page, enter the default username and password admin, and then we can see the product setting page. The port collection status will be shown at home page. In actual networking, the configuration of the ring ports should match with the ports that are actually collected. We can see the port 3 is linked. Now let's configure the SW ring. Click the link backup and choose the rapid ring. Ring V3 redundancy protocol and then you see the ring protocol configuration interface. One device supports several ring network groups and let's configure the first ring network group. Activate ring protocol, select the corresponding port and a single ring. All ID in a ring group should be the same. Click setting after configuration. The setting will work after rebooting the device. When all devices are configured, the ring protocol will work and we can collect devices in loop. When we go back to the device topology page in the soft wheel, search product again and there should be a ring topology, which means the topology is activated and under working. That's all about 3-1 data SW ring, ring network configuration. See you next time.